VIB, that stands for Very Important Biscuits. Well, they may look a little pompous and a little pretentious, but this is heavenly chocolate hazelnut, and I think it could be pretty tasty. Hello everyone, welcome to Food Review UK, my name's MJ and today we are reviewing the McVitie's VIB, this is very important biscuits, brand new-ish product that just came out at Asda in three flavours, so as I said in that intro, this is the Heavenly Chocolate Hazelnut Caramel and Milk Chocolate Digestive, uh, the other two are just normal caramel and blood orange, so I believe the caramel is just a rebrand of the caramel digestive. Uh, and I, f I think the other two are new, I don't think they've done an orange caramel, but they might have done. Uh, they've certainly definitely not done a, a hazelnut caramel. So this one is 100% new. Orange, not certain. The other one, just a rebrand. Um, they were quite expensive actually, I think they were £1.58 per pack, which is... Uh, for me that's taking the piss, £4.50 for the full range. I think that's a piss take, but hey, here we go. Ho-hum and all that. Uh, yes, got it from Asda. Fine, let's have a look. So we have got normal kind of, can we focus on the biscuit, not my head please? Uh, normal kind of appearance there of a Cadbury, brilliant. Normal kind of appearance there, oh, dropping it, of a chocolate digestive uh, with caramel. So they're a little, little smaller than the normal chocolate digestives and a little thicker. So that's how you identify the caramel ones. Smell, I'm getting oats and chocolate on top. And primarily just oats slash biscuit on the bottom. So I can't smell the hazelnut, but I'm very much hoping to be able to taste it because hazelnut and chocolate is one of my favourite combinations. Right guys, let's give it a go, right? So... I'm no stranger to uh, caramel digestives. I've had them before, so it's obviously a layer. Oh, there the flavour hits. It's a layer of uh, nice biscuit. I think digestive is a good biscuit. It's oaty, it's crumbly, it's nice, it's decent. It's a British institution, isn't it? Then there's a thin, very thin layer of caramel, um, and then a uh, layer of milk chocolate. The uh, combination of textures in this is, is really what makes the digestive caramel range, I think. It's very unique. Hmm. Because you've got the normal biscuit, but then a load of chewiness. And then that all sort of combines in your mouth. And it's pretty satisfying. Hmm. The hazelnut flavour mainly comes through in the aftertaste. On that second bite I had just then, it came in towards the end of the mouthful. I think the sort of beginning of when you're chewing is front loaded with the, the chocolate. The milk chocolate is the dominating flavour at first. It's definitely nice. Like I say, I'm a massive fan of hazelnut. There's two things. First of all, the hazelnut could be stronger. Mm, definitely. Second of all, there was a really good opportunity there to have chopped hazelnuts in here because that would have added a nice bit of crunch and a bit of crunch. Extra hazelnut flavour which that would have dramatically elevated these from a fairly mediocre but tasty biscuit, which is what they are. It would have elevated them to, wow, these are delicious, because there is a grave, utterly, utterly grave, um, unforgivable act that happened in the United Kingdom, and that was the removal of the... McVitie's Boaster Cookies from sale. I think you might be able to get the uh, like the milk chocolate one still. I think I got them a couple years ago. But A, you don't see them very often. B, the hazelnut one. There was a whole hazelnut McVitie's cookie biscuit, rich in butter. The, the flavour of the cookie itself was amazing. It's a hard cookie rather than a chewy one. But the the flavour was sensational, it was buttery, very rich, big chunks of good quality chocolate and big chunks of whole hazelnut. One of the best products that McVitie's have ever released and they got rid of it. 
So to see them release a new hazelnut product and not put the actual whole hazelnuts in, or even chopped hazelnuts in, uh, that's a bit of a shame because I, I believe, I mean I may be wrong, but I believe, uh, okay, wheat meal biscuits with chocolate hazelnut flavour caramel. So it's the caramel that's actually flavoured. So that kind of makes a bit more sense why the flavour of the um, hazelnut comes through towards the end because you're dominated by the chocolate at first and even the flavouring isn't in, in the biscuit. So, a ah, bit of a mixed bag guys because I think it's a missed opportunity. I think the branding, I kind of like the packaging but it's not the clearest. Obviously it wasn't great to get a thumbnail of. Um, but it, it sticks out on the shelf quite nicely. It's good. Uh, I'd give it a very high three stars. Yeah, good but nothing to write home about. Please subscribe if this is your first foray into Food Review UK. Obviously we do all different kinds of videos. I hope that you are well. Try our other channels which includes Theme Park Life, which is where you can find out about, find out about, like not find out about, you just watch our life. We try to go to theme parks. Um, when there's not a coronavirus pandemic, we go to a lot more. But, cheers. We got full salad up in this boy. That caramel on top left.